to suit your purpose. I'm gonna do it right here. Seattle Judy, mass killer. I'm good, man. Well, I could be better. I would like to be online a little bit more. But since I have nobody helping me out and I'm and stuck in such a legal battle all by myself, what more can I do, right? Why would I keep on giving this guy my picture to use for his sick, twisted, fucked up purposes? That's what, that's what I'm asking. What's up, Big Chief? So, check this out. I give you my picture again, but this picture this time is is gonna be damning and yeah sure you'll take it and twist the words to your satisfaction mislead everyone else with your bullshit lies or whatnot but hey that's what you are that's as low that's that's what you do with your life that's the sad thing to do with your life see this here this is a copy from yesterday's hearing check this out all that proof and nonsense I was just talking check this out watch this see this it's a frustration of the purpose and that frustrating purpose only suits one need that's the coward and his conduct that's the only purpose it suits so check this out Here's my copy. See? My copy. Right? My copy. In order to serve a, um, a lawsuit or whatever on an asshole like this, a civil harassment restraining order it has to be physically handed to the dipshit. But besides that, he already swore in other matters and consented right here see this youtube thing he got this post removed today and got this yeah look, look who's in here got this post removed today you know i bet you feel proud about it but you say on page two i even highlighted it right here he says i would like my day in court with ricky penzon well, here you go, dipshit. The process server came to your house seven times this month. Seven. Came to your fucking house seven times this month. The first time he showed up, they wrote, legitimate, look, they even got their own barcode down there. They says, 3-6-2024, 6 p.m. Alyssa Doberly went to the address that he gave over here that he swore to accept right here where those stars are at right here you swore to accept that now this ain't over before you get to oh this is all over zebra guy no it extends over zebra that was zebra's little friend that was zebra's other best friend in Vegas they were homeboys they had a fallout. Whatever happened between them, I wasn't there. I don't know the fucker. You know? All I know is he got beat up in his driveway. That's all I know. And he calls the FBI on me. Gets, gets me interrogated by the FBI. FBI called me up, tell me to come into the industry station. And they interrogate me for two and a half hours. Because this little puto said, I use my YouTube platform to encourage people to go on shooting sprees. I've threatened him with guns and shit like that. This guy contacted Social Security and told Social Security that I'm faking my hearing loss. Even though all the medical evidence is there, calls the fraud hotline. They trigger investigations and to the only fucking financial stability that I have that keeps a roof over my head, that pays my bills. And I can't hear out of one ear, that's why I talk loud naturally. 
So as a result of him contacting Social Security multiple times, I have a list of times that this fucker has contacted them, triggering Office of Inspector General investigations. Unfair, not cool, especially for doing it for your own sick, twisted purpose, right? Well, again, 311. Well, back to 36. They went on 36. 36. I'll try to stay on subject. Dog inside, no answer. Light on inside, black Jeep in driveway, van attached. On 311, Alyssa Doberly went again there at 8.39 a.m. Later on, Mitchell Crooks posted a video bragging about, ha, ah, good luck, you're not gonna catch me there. He must have known that somebody was there looking for him on, on March 11th. Spoke with an older black male named Reese. He said that no Mitchell Crooks lives here. He said him and his roommates have lived, been living there for about five years. I verified I was at the right address and showed him a picture of the defendant and asked if he recognized him and he said no. 320, 24. Again, someone else went. Then 322, 323, at 325, all verified statements from official process servers, right? But yet, he wants his day in court. Mind you, this here is a, pull, a pullout from the case evidence itself. Evidence in itself that I swear under penalty of perjury that I have good faith to believe that the material was removed due to a mistake or misidentification of the material to be removed. I swear under the penalty of perjury and I consent to the jurisdiction of the federal district court for the district which my address is located or if my address is outside of the United States the judicial district in which YouTube is located. And I will accept service of summons from the claimant. Sincerely, signs his name. And then he gives his address. He gives his email. And then he gives his phone number. So I said, okay, bet. Here's your service of summons, mother. Electronics. 